It's the next morning, it's Tuesday, and these are freshly folded boxes from last night. Christian did 100 and I did 100. So we've got quite a few, because I probably have close to 600 orders now. I haven't checked yet this morning. And I have close to 600 boxes folded. Today's gonna be a packaging day, just gonna package as many orders as possible. So I'm in the process of organizing this room, just because it's getting a little out of hand. Like I always say, it'll be much better once the elliptical is downstairs. For now, it's just in the way. Gotta wait for Christian's ankle to be all better before we can move that. <laughs> These are stacks of unfolded boxes here and here. These are bubble mailers. Got some of the folded boxes under there. That's maybe half the ones we've folded so far. But I just need to get organized. Like, the prints are just stacked there. I think they need to go here. I have stickers sitting here for some reason. They, those need to move. I did set up the AC in here because I'm gonna need it later. Opening that window was an adventure. We've never opened that one specifically. We usually open that one. And so that one was very stuck. Very much a struggle, but I got it. And I need to bring in that chipboard from yesterday. That's gotta come into this room too. And then just get going, package as many orders as possible. I was gonna wait to the next door launch to order more of those envelopes, but I changed my mind this morning and ordered more. It's because I realized that this size here I'm gonna need those for some of the orders, the Canadian orders. For those Canadian orders, I need these envelopes. I'm confused on the timeline. I'm trying to remember if I already ordered the prints when I bought the boxes, because I mostly ordered small ones but then the prints can't go in the small ones, so I'm hoping my ratio is good for the slot boxes. <laughs> okay, I think this place is pretty much ready to go. I brought a lot of boxes in here. These are just the ones that were upstairs, plus the small ones for Canadian orders that were downstairs, but I still have a bunch of these guys down there. I'll just bring them up later as I need them. I put a carpet down here, it's folded over, so it's doubled over, just so that my feet don't get sore. I can also put on shoes if I feel I'm getting sore. The prints are tucked right there and the chipboard here. And then I have tape, the printer, mini garbage can, the thank you cards. I got both screens going right now, yeah yeah. Plus my phone, cause I'll probably watch videos on here while I'm packing. And another garbage can down there. Envelopes on this shelf, so for small Canadian orders and then these will be for the bigger boxes. I'm gonna make a coffee, turn on the air conditioner and start packaging. Construction sound is lovely, although I don't hear it so much in the other room, especially with the AC on. I'm right by an open window right now, so it's very loud. Kind of forgot about the tissue paper. <laughs> I might just have some of it open on top of this. I don't know. I just like everything at this height. It's like the perfect height. I trimmed up some tissue paper as a test, just two widths so that they can fit these boxes. I don't really need the cushioning of the tissue paper for these, maybe just slightly. It's it's mostly for looks, I guess, and it's just a little bit of cushioning. It's the bigger boxes that are gonna need more because they're bigger and the stuff's gonna slide around in them. Look how baby this is though. So tiny, so cute. And it's just the perfect size for the enamel pins. Just look at that. Oh, it's adorable. I just don't know if I want a sticker or something. That's just an extra step of things to make and to put on, but like if I fold this over, do I want a little sticker? Or do I just leave it and close the box? Or even just use plain tape, I don't know. I'll just start putting stuff inside and see what it's like. Just like last time, I think I'm gonna start with all the Canadian orders, just so I can have them out of the way because all the rest of them have to be uploaded to Chit Chats. And so, because it's different order types, I might as well do them separately. Also, the Canadian ones take longer to ship than the US ones because I guess just, just because I use chit chats, the American ones go through USPS and so it gets there within a few business days. Whereas the Canadian ones, it could take a little longer because it's just letter mail. Nude, if you're watching, you are the very first Canadian to order from this batch, so yours is being packaged first. <laughs> yeah, a print and a few pins. Let me grab my tripod. Every time I turn around, I kick a cat gently, a gentle kick, a little touch, but little babes want to lay on the rug. Yeah, you boo boo. <laughs> I gotta watch out for babies. Got my small envelope. 
put this inside. I can't prepackage these because what if someone orders two of the same one or like one of each design? There's just too many variables, so I can't pre sleeve these. Actually, I was gonna stick it the other way. Go this way. Stick some of this behind the print, and the print will go face down in the box. This, this way there's a little protection between everything. I do need a thank you card in there. And then the enamel pins, there's a little ducky, a mermaid, and a flower bun. All A grade, yes. <laughs> Now, should I just close it or should I seal it? I can even make really small stickers. Even just square ones, like circle would be cute, but square would be probably really easy to cut with the Cricut. I probably wouldn't even need the Cricut for that, actually. It'd be quicker for me to just use my guillotine cutter. These are gonna take a lot longer to package than my old orders. Ah! Yeah, I think just like a little sticker would be like, boop. Okay, we'll see how this works. I'm trying to print with a very small margin on the edge of my page so that I don't have to trim the borders but it might cut off a little bit Ugh. yep it's cutting off a little bit <laughs> it was worth a shot I can just make them a little smaller I was just hoping that I wouldn't have to trim off the edges of the sticker it'd be fewer cuts if it just worked out that way these would be cute as circle stickers but it's faster for me to just straight cut them I was not recording this whole time. Why does this keep happening to me lately? I'm such a floozy. Okay. Okay, editing Bailey here. I had to stop and Google floozy. It says a girl or woman who has many casual sexual encounters or relationships. So I did not use that word correctly. I just thought it meant I was an idiot or airheaded or I don't know. <laughs> I was having doubts about this because I thought, well, what if they're hard to peel? But they're actually not too bad if you just run your flesh along the corner, it peels right up. I tried making a slit down the back with a knife, but it actually is not too bad to just meet like that. So this should be okay. I don't think it'll drive me too crazy. Also, it'd be really cute to include freebie stickers in people's orders. Maybe in the future because I don't have time to make all those. But something nicer than this, like more properly cut. <laughs> Maybe something made with the Cricut. If I can find sticker paper that behaves with Carol. Well, it's not the paper that needs to behave, it's Carol that needs to behave. Ooh, my new printout worked all right. Oh, the color looks different. What the heck? They both look good. It's just that this is more saturated than this one. Hmm. Weird. It's the exact same print settings. As far as I know, I didn't change anything. And stack up a few layers. Since there's six columns, I'll do three and three. Ooh, cut a little close to the head on that one. <laughs> These aren't going to be perfect. They're just quickies for the packaging. I knew this box would eventually serve a purpose. <laughs> I think it was from like a charging cable I ordered on Amazon or like a battery pack. It was just so cute, I had to keep it. You get the idea though, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. It should be pretty quick. Okay, this is enough for now. Probably have a little over 300 based on my estimate. Yeah, there's 48 and I just did six pages and I had those first two as well. So yeah, I have over 300. I'll need more because I have over 600 orders, but this is good for now. Okay now, back to nudes order. Gonna grab one of my stickers. Wow, a lot of these are cut really crooked. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I know I said they weren't meant to be perfect, but some of these are bothering me. <laughs> Peel off. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> I taped it a little crooked. <laughs> the paper doesn't line up. Ah. Okay, I think no matter what, they're not gonna be perfect. Well, what, I didn't cut them perfectly, but also, you know, I'm gonna be going pretty fast. But yeah, that is a sample of one order, yes, okay. And then I have to tape it shut. I guess we're not 
done. <laughs> this sample is not done. So this now needs to go into an envelope. I could have gotten ones that are more like nine by six probably. Although if I cut these in half, they might, might be a little tight. Let me see what it would be like if I did not cut the envelope. And just fold it a piece over it. Like not overlapping the box, but just like this. That might be okay as long as the box doesn't slide over to that part. Also still need the stamps for all these. Last time I just packaged all the orders first and then did all the stamps later, so I'll probably do that again. Okay, why am I doing this? Three separate pieces. Okay, there we go. That's one way to do it. Also with the Canadian orders, I just write the addresses on by hand because I don't need to do the shipping labels. But that does mean I need a little return address sticker. They have the Goofy Bailey face on them and I have a lot of these, like, <laughs> I have enough to last me so long. Let's say this is the top. And then I'm just gonna write the address and put it in a pile while it awaits stamps. Okay, this next one is a little BB order. We have one pin, so I'm gonna grab a thank you card, stick that in there. And then it's a Kiki Midna A grade. It fits flat against the card. It fits face down, but it's also cute having it face up for when you open it. Cute. But yeah, this can go in one of this size. I'm gonna write the address on first, but I can just sneak right in there. It has to be in an envelope to be considered letter mail. Like I can't just stick a stamp on this and send it. It has to be in an envelope. Scar, <laughs> brother, <laughs> help me. <laughs> I almost intervened there. I was like, it's gonna topple on her. You gotta be careful there, Kiki, okay? It's a dangerous game there, Keck. I'm already like, hmm, I wanna sit for a while. And I tried bringing in my rolly chair because I can adjust the height to have it a bit higher and it swivels so I can still turn and grab things, but it won't fit through the door. I mean, I can use a regular chair, but it'll be a bit low. To me, it just makes sense to stand most of the day, but there are gonna be times where I just wanna sit down. I think I at least need to put shoes on. This rug really helps, but I think I still need shoes. I'm only about eight packages in, but I think I'm gonna run to the post office actually to get the stamps now, because then I could be sticking them on as I'm doing this. Last time I just took all the packages to the post office when I bought the stamps, put the stamps on there and sent them, and that worked well too, but I kinda just wanna get them on as I go. Also, one of the mystery boxes is waiting for me at the PO box, because the person who sent it, they must have tracking, because they told me that it's there waiting for me, so I am gonna go grab that too. That'll be four out of four, I'll officially have all four mystery boxes from this round received. Isn't this just so cute? I love these little boxes. This is yours, by the way, Sarah. Sarah sold me. I ran out of the smaller of the two sizes of white envelopes. Oh, of course that kicks in right as I, okay. Anyway, so I've been using pieces of paper that I just cut in half and then fold in half. And I think that works a lot better because with the envelopes, it adds just enough width that it doesn't really fit in these boxes that well. Like it fits, but it's a little snug and this almost fits nicer. So it's, it's done the same way as the envelopes, but it's just a piece of paper folded in half and then with this and then have the print underneath it. So yeah, I like the look of that. 
Ho-ho. yo ho ki 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 For non-Canadian orders, they'll definitely still go in envelopes, though, because I can't have them just being bonked around within the box. This is snug enough that it doesn't matter that there's no sides to the paper, but for bigger boxes, I'm going to need that. Okay, it is 10 p.m. Here's what I got through today. Honestly, it doesn't look like that much to me. It does take longer to package them now, and I didn't really get started actually packaging till about one o'clock, but still, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> But it took a while to get into the swing of things. Like once I had a rhythm down, it was good. I was running out of boxes, so I had to fold more. Like the little ones, like this, and the medium-sized ones. When I was folding them yesterday, I was, wasn't was thinking of doing all the Canadian ones first. And that'll be it for the Canadian orders, because I only have like 12 or 13 of them left. My feet are killing me, my heels. <laughs> I probably should sit more, but eh. But yeah, overall, I'm having so much fun with the packaging because this is the like the fun stuff. I don't know, packaging is really fun, especially since it's not something I do all the time. I kind of do it in phases, like my shop opens for a little while, I do a bunch of packaging and then stop for a while. That's what makes it exciting. So I'm having lots of fun, especially with the tissue paper and the stickers. I don't know, it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> and I swear to God, if one more person tells me I need an assistant, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm fine, I don't mind doing this stuff. Um, like someday if I want to expand the store to be bigger, sure, maybe, but like, I don't want to deal with the legalities of hiring a person and all that jazz. Unless I hire someone under the table. And at that point, I would just be better off incorporating my business to also pay myself a salary that way. Because, I don't know, it's a whole, I don't even want to get into it. It's a whole thing. And I don't want a stranger coming to my house. I'm not going to lie. I don't want a stranger coming to my house. I've just, I've been getting Christian to help me out with stuff when I need it, and I think that's fine. Like, to me, it's Christian or it's no one. I hope I don't come off as being, like, super overwhelmed, because, like, I love doing this stuff. And, yeah, I do it all day, but that's because I love it. I hope I don't come across as, like, I'm burning out. Like, I don't think I have been, but I feel like some people get that impression. Like, oh, she's suffering. She needs help. I'm good. I love this stuff. And like I said, it's just something that I do kind of like in batches, so it, it's it's not something you get sick of. All right, all right, I'm gonna go chill on the couch with Christian. We'll probably watch Ghost Adventures and then go to bed. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want this light pink. Probably gonna need a lot. Okay, if I use one sheet per order, that's enough for 500 orders right here. And I might need more. 